Guess where I am, back again. Desert Valley Auto Parts in North Phoenix. It's been about three months since I took a stroll through the yard here. We're gonna probably not have a lot of time to do a complete overview, but I'm just gonna focus on maybe a section of the yard today and continue to come back once in a while to assess uh, what's new and exciting. So come along. All right, we are in. Today is December 21st, 2019. The guy at the front desk just said they're in the process of a move. So some of the cars, according to specific years or makes, will be moving to different yards. I'll have to get more information on that because uh, it sounds like it'll change direction for which way some of you guys want to go as far as finding specific year ranges and model ranges. So, like I said, we're just going to take a quick lap today. Um, maybe not a lot has changed since September, but you never know. I don't know if I've ever seen that many old El Caminos in one place. Some of you guys wanted to see the pickup trucks based upon the thumbnail or cover photo that I put on the video last time. So this does appear to be the truck section. Some stuff is more complete than others. Sweet seat covers. This would be a Riviera. Look at that cool console. Comes all the way to the back seat. Back seat's not there. Fuel filler door there. Check this out. Got an original Sonomatic radio. No goodies in there that we need. Shows 10,000 miles, maybe 110, right? I want to say this Pontiac Ambulance Superior was in the front lot when I was here a few months ago and they've moved it back here. This is pretty wild, a six door limousine checker. It's a checker. That's kind of cool. Massive, massive Cadillac 
four-door hardtop. You can always hear the airplanes out here because I'm right next to the Deer Valley Airport. I'm gonna take a closer look at this one. Oh yeah, this seat is crusty. There's dust all over it, but we got a nice little cubby hole of some sort. Oh, look at that. What? Two ashtrays and a SIG lighter in the middle. Wow. I don't know what half of these do. Look at that vent. What do we have here? Pure later filter. That's cool. What else? That looks kind of old. Jesus. Oh man, the mother load right here. This is a book pamphlet that has 1965 Cadillac manual in it. It's so brittle. I'm not gonna mess with that. There's a Dodge Phoenix for you. Kind of cool looking. Looks like a radio speaker right in the middle of the dash. Dodge power steering. I love that gauge cluster. Kind of cool. Nothing there, but dust and debris. There's a pretty ragged looking Cutlass Supreme right there. That's got some books in the glove box too. Big old 78 Lincoln here. I always like these marker lights. That looks like a very comfortable back seat. See if we can get lost back here in the land of Lincoln. Get it? I think that's the uh, state motto for Illinois, if I'm not mistaken. Gotta watch your head back here. Love the big old grill on that thing. That is a long car. Good night. It keeps going and going and going and going. That's what you call a town car. And that one right there could be yours for the low, low price of, we don't know. Too bad the windows have been busted out on this thing. Look at the detail they put, even to something like this little trim. Looks like that's the reverse light there.
You never have enough ashtrays in these old American cars, right? Even for a two-door, this thing probably has four ashtrays. That's kind of funny. Ugly duckling rent-a-car on an old Continental. She actually ain't as bad looking as some of these other hulks. This would be Thunderbird land. Those Firestone Firehawks looks, look pretty new. On that one. What have we here? Ford LTD. Crush? No. Say it ain't so. That's a 72 LTD pillar. Wow. Not much left of that Landau top. This one surprisingly has a bit of cancer in it. We don't get that in Arizona very much, so car definitely came from another state at some point. What's the what's the towing capacity and payload on a Ford LTD? Anybody know? So what is that, a warning light if you didn't have your seatbelt on? It just says uh, belts. There's a Fleetwood with a messed up rooftop. I wonder what happened to this thing. Ouch, nothing left of it. Sixty seven Galaxy five hundred. What have we here? A very complete Buick. The seats are even nice in this thing. It shows 35,000 miles. You got a wall hanging or a plate there with Jesus on it. Clearly somebody was looking after this car. Not bad. I think that's about gonna wrap it up for this trip. Unfortunately, like I said, not a ton of time, but it's worth spending a quick couple minutes on a Saturday morning. I'd love to know what kind of stuff they just have tucked away in this little shed here. There's probably artifacts all over through these cars that nobody's even unearthed yet. This hearse has kind of a Ghostbusters feel to it. Ecto-1, call it. And a Skylark to bid us farewell. There's a pretty complete Camaro for somebody if they want a rebuildable ride. That right there looks like something I could handle a re restore project on. About a 2000 model year Honda Accord. The crap is that doing in here? Oh well. Hey, off we go. Thanks you guys for joining. 
uh, we'll, we'll do this again uh, another few months. I'd like to come out here probably uh, quarterly at least, if not more, capture some new stuff. And uh, thanks for coming along for the ride.